What's up guys? By the way, this is Mark and we're back again in Havi TV and for today's video we'll discuss on how to culture tube effects in a clean way because um, because we all know the tube effects, most of the tube effects came from sediments and sewers and some of them carries diseases so we don't want that to happen to our fish pets. So today so stay tuned and before anything else if you are new to the channel please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get updated on our next video so now without any further ado let's get into the video and let's go to advantages of tube effects culture tube effects is also known as a sludge worm since it is found growing naturally in sludge loaded with organically rich substances it grows in a wide spectrum of habitats with a high level of biological oxygen demand. However, in short, because it's very hard the organism and can withstand in a very low oxygen concentrations. Typically, tubifix worms are borrowers feeding on bacteria and organic particles in the sediment. Tubifix worms are hermaphroditic. Or in other words, each individual has both male and female organs or testes and ovaries for female, same as the animals. Uh, materials needed. Tank for culture. Um, we are, I'm going to use, we're going to use here a big plastic basin because it's easy for us to, because it's movable, it's easy for us to, to move it if, if we like it and the water drum you can also use that for water flow and if and and also if you are not using a, if you are not using drainage system you can also use aerator and submersible filter just to give our tube effects oxygen more oxygen for them to most multiply quickly um, you can also add mud and base coarse grain sand under um, I mean under a minor flow if you're going to if you are ever going to use um, during your system and tube effect starter if you use a starter cream from sewers or sediments or in the wild areas you need to wash the worms using tap water at least um, five times so just like that you're gonna wash them five times and now let's add also our tube effects starter did you see the small wiggling yucky worms <laughs> it's look delicious by the way I mean for, I mean for the fish <laughs> alright Tube effects different foods. Um, once you have a culture, you need to. Once you have a starter, you need to feed your col your culture or your tube effects every once a week. You can feed them with the mustard oil cake or soybean meal, lichus leaves or pichai here in our area here in the Philippines. You can use pichai or Chinese pichai or other vegetables that you may like and also you can use water spinach cow dung yes because some areas uses that to, but uses cow dung but it's a little bit dirty really nigga <laughs> a little bit yucky right <laughs> but make sure that if, if you're going to use cow dung the dried one not the fresh one <laughs> right 
so you can also use feed your tube effects with rice or wheat bran or rice meal sludge or and daily dairy sludge or you can use also you can feed them also with fish meal and other algae products like algae tablets or spirulina just like that and you can also feed them with fish foods flakes and other kind of flakes other kinds of fish foods so today I'm using rice bran and yeast because there was an experiment about rice bran rice meal sludge it contains more minerals and vitamins um, for 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 the tube packs to make them grow or multiply fast just like that and also one thing I'm gonna use rice bran here because rice bran is easy to acquire and it's so cheap I guess you can buy it by 15 pesos per kilogram and I, I think in US dollar it's a point point three US dollar I guess and wild yeast also turns into bacteria and we'll know that as we will know that tube effects thrive into bacteria so this also helps them grow faster for them to thrive and now let's add the yes into a small plastic bottle yeah just like this one and the rice bran have you seen the small bugs <laughs> whether you like it or not they are part of the process <laughs> Whoa, so messy. <laughs> so messy. So messy in here. Now let's add warm water to activate the yes. So let's shake it like this. See the box feels wobbly inside. <laughs> So let's pour out the mixture to our culture tank. In biomass production experiment shows that rice meal sludge has the highest efficiency with dairy sludge the second best and the raw cattle dung the poorest and followed by those those chip foods that we that we have discussed earlier. The most efficient culture period was found to be 20 days of culture for both dairy sludge and rice meal sludge fed treatments and it produces the most biomass. And also harvested tube effects show that rice meal sludge fed tube effects contain the highest amounts of protein, crowd lipid and ash, followed by dairy sludge and and the rest of the rest of the tube effects was as what we as what we discussed earlier. When it comes to water system drainage, the key to keep your tube effects warm still alive is just do water change once or twice a day. Or just keep the water stay clean. And 
and of course to make your worm grow faster it also requires continuous running water at the rate of 250 ml per minute if you are if you are using water flow chumfex is an important fish food for almost kind of fish because they are because you can acquire them easily or you can find them easily just make sure that your that your chumfex worms are clean enough before feeding them to your to your fishes and thank you so much guys for watching the video hopefully you like our video for today and hopefully also um, this will help to grow your own tube effects culture in a clean way and of course I just want to ask a favor if you are new to the channel please visit our Facebook page at habitv.ph you can check the link below and of course don't forget to subscribe to get updated for our future linen videos may God bless us all happy fish keeping everyone Bye-bye.